Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to another great day of Bible study. I'm going to turn it all the way over to a couple of my friends, uh, King Solomon and, and some other of my friends to teach the Bible story today. I hope that's okay with you. That way you don't have to look at my floating head. And we're going to have a great day, and it's a great Bible study. Remember, because it's God's Word, and that's what really matters. Hello, I'm King Solomon, and... My daddy died. Remember, David? He was a great king and set me up really nicely. And one of the first things that I did when I became king is I married Pharaoh's daughter. She is so beautiful. And after we married and we had an alliance with Egypt, I went over to Gibeon. And I sacrifice at the high places. Now, at this point, I'm doing everything really pretty well right. But maybe I shouldn't have sacrificed at Gibeon. But that's okay. Because I went to sleep that night. And then God came to me in a dream. And he said, Solomon, what would you like? I will give you anything. So I thought, and I thought, and I thought, hmm, what should I get? And I thought maybe I should ask for wisdom. Wisdom? Why'd you ask for wisdom? Huh? Where'd you come from? Oh, I'm Professor Jimmy John, and... I am asking you, why didn't you ask for riches? Why didn't you ask for jewels or a long life? Uh, because my daddy always taught me that wisdom from God is the best thing. Just read the Psalms. Huh, you know, I might have asked for a great army to conquer the world. I might have asked for all the money I could handle. I could have asked for chocolate or cars, or a Batmobile. Yeah, you, you could have, but we didn't have roads for a Batmobile back in my day. Oh. Yeah, uh, a yacht was pretty much a canoe. Oh, you mean I couldn't have one of those fancy boats with a helicopter on it? Man, we didn't even know how to fly yet, let alone have a helicopter on a boat. Oh, no wonder you asked for wisdom, but... Not money? Hmm. Well, you see, God said, okay, I will bless you with wisdom. Winning! Yes, it was. And God said to me that because I didn't choose to have money or long life or anything like that, he said he was going to grant me with long life and grant me with money. In fact, according to the internet, I was the third richest man to ever live. Really? The third richest man? Yes, I would had a net worth of around two trillion dollars, and I did it all through peace and kindness. Really? Two trillion dollars? Wow! I know. I was blessed richly because God loved me. And that is what matters. It sure does. Who cares about money and riches as long as God loves you? That's right. That's what matters is God loves you. And we're still supposed to pray for wisdom so that we can make the right decisions when we walk through the day-to-day -day life. All right. I guess I'll start praying for wisdom. Good. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Well, peekaboo. And here I am back again. Boy, that was pretty neat. Solomon was able to ask for wisdom, and God granted it. There's a couple things that we can pray for that God will always be happy to give us. And I think one of those is wisdom. And, and I think that's very smart, because wisdom allows you to make the right decisions all the time. Or maybe not all the time, but most of the time you're going to make the right decision. And so we should probably pray for wisdom as much as we pray for anything else. The other thing that I love to pray for is to, for God to bless us. Because just like Professor Jimmy John, sometimes we want to ask for things that really won't make our life better and might make us happier for a little bit, but not for very long. 
God is smarter than me, believe it or not. I mean, I believe that God's way smarter than I could ever be. I mean, that's that's just a crazy statement. And and so I believe that God is much smarter than me, so he can bless me in the way that is best. So I love to pray for God, just bless me. I don't care how, you just bless me because you're smarter than me and you know what I need more than I know. And so when we pray for God's blessings and we pray for God's wisdom to shine in our lives, things will probably be a little bit better for us. You guys are amazing. Remember, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, you have a tremendous Bible class. So be there, show up, be proud. 2500 North Plum at the Eastwood Church of Christ. We hope to see you there, and we'll see you next time, guys. Obey your parents. Bye-bye.